Hi everyone. At Coiled, we often get asked, why would I choose Dask and Coiled over Spark and Databricks? Uh, this video attempts to answer that question, but it really depends on you and what you need. Often the people that we speak to have a lot of Python users. Uh, they've run into problems of scale and they're either looking for a solution or they've already selected Databricks and have had a bad time and are looking around for alternatives. Uh, based on your situation, Databricks might be the best choice. Databricks is a fantastic product. They do a lot. Uh, and this is maybe a big difference between Databricks and Coiled. Databricks does data storage with like Delta. They do a lot of compute with Spark. They do workflow management. They have a development environment. It is an all-in-one platform, right? There's a lot here. If you look at their website, there's a ton of stuff on Databricks. It is a massive platform. Coiled and Dask, um, by comparison, are quite small. Uh, we help you run Python at scale, based wherever you are. This is maybe the primary difference philosophically between the two products. In Databricks, you move into the Databricks world, and in Coiled, you sort of augment your existing workflow system with a bit of scalable computing with Coiled. Coiled tries very hard to get into your space and augment what you do already without changing much of it. A lot of this change also comes down to uh, Dask and Spark. So why would I choose Dask over Spark? Again, Spark might be the right choice for you. Uh, Spark is excellent, especially at SQL queries. It's a very mature platform. It integrates lots of data, um, enterprise data warehouses. Uh, Spark might be the best, if what you want to do is run a lot of SQL queries and have it be used by a lot of analysts that don't know a lot of Python. People who tend to prefer Dask use it either because uh, they like things that are very much like Pandas. Dask and Pandas integrates very nicely together or they like using Dask because it is nothing at all like Pandas, and it can do lots of things that neither Pandas nor Spark can do. It's worth remembering that Dask isn't a Pandas data frame library, it is a general purpose library for parallel computing. So there are you know, great machine learning library integrations, for example. In Spark and Databricks, you might use you know, Spark ML, which has their own algorithms for logistic regression and clustering and k-means. Uh, Dask takes a different approach. Dask integrates into a lot of other very popular libraries like XGBoost, like GBM, Optuna, and augments those libraries for parallel computing. Uh, this is nice because those library authors honestly make better algorithms than either the Spark or Dask developers would do on their own. So like XGBoost is better than Spark, like GBM is better than Spark, Optuna is better than Spark, or what they do for those spaces. Um, and Dask just helps those libraries scale out. So we choose, Dask chooses very much a collaborative approach rather than approach to sort of rewrite the world. Uh, that can be great because you get access to really high quality algorithms. It can also be painful because Dask is not an all-in-one system like Spark. Spark, you just install Spark and you're done. You have everything you need, even if it's kind of mediocre. Dask also does a lot of things that are not machine learning, not pandas. Dask can help you parallelize just general Python code. Dask is, can be really, really low level. Uh, whereas a Spark, sort of you sort of operate on a lot of data in bulk. In Dask, you can do things in a very freeform way. Um, there's more about this in other videos you can talk about at the end, but Dask provides a lot more flexibility and works really well with Python users where they are. In general, Dask and Coiled try to meet Python users where they are rather than give them a new paradigm in which to work. And that can work very well depending on what you want. Another reason people often choose Dask and Coiled is that they can work from anywhere. So I'm running here on my laptop and I'm starting up a cluster to run on US East 1 and Coiled will give that to me, right? I don't move my workflow into Coiled or into Databricks. Instead, I've got my workflow running where it is today. Maybe it's running from an AWS Lambda function, or it's running from GitHub Actions, or it's running on uh, my laptop, or it's running in some sort of you know, janky Jenkins box I've got sitting in my uh, data center. Dask and Coiled work from those existing places. Uh, they scale out to the cloud, but they can be driven from anywhere. And this again is really easy for people who have something that works today and they just want uh, to scale out that existing system. So a uh, Dask and Coiled can be a lot more lightweight. Uh, in general, this sort of brings us to sort of the final point, uh, different people have different needs. 
uh, and you might be, you know, in a different situation. If you want to uh, add a whole new data platform to your company, maybe your Fortune 100 company, you've been tasked with, you know, creating a new AI platform that has you know, integrated storage and compute and workflow management and development environment that's really consistent across all of your users uh, and is efficient and mature, like Databricks is probably your platform. Like honestly, we're just not that mature yet. You should choose Databricks. No one gets fired choosing Databricks. It's a good thing. Uh, alternatively, if you have something that works today, maybe you have a bunch of Python users, you have a bunch of code that's operational today and it's working well, but you're running these problems of scale and you want to find out sort of the lightest weight thing you can do to get past those problems of scale, Dask and Coiled might be a better choice. We, um, we integrate very well, both with other Python libraries and with existing systems, and we just bring a lot fewer opinions to the table. You can use Dask with your current workflow managers, with your current data storage. You can use Dask from Databricks if you really wanted to. We can be run from anywhere. Uh, so that's it. Again, we find that a lot of people who are very Python forward and want something kind of lightweight uh, tend to prefer Dask and Cool. It tends to be a better fit, uh, but it really depends on what you need. And so if you're interested, I recommend going to Cool.io. Get a lot of information here uh, about how we operate um, and get in touch. Cheers. <laughs>